Om Namaste, my dear students. Today we will read about the characteristic of a dictionary. So let's start our class for today. Characteristic of a dictionary. Dictionaries <coughs> like list are mutable, and that is the only similarity they have with list. Otherwise, dictionary are different type of data structure with the following characteristics. So basically, there is one difference between the dictionary and list, and that is the mutable. That's when we can change the value of dictionary, like uh, list. But otherwise, there are lots of uh, other characteristics there. First one that is a unordered set. Dictionary is a unordered set of key value pairs. It's uh, value can contain references to any type of the object. So basically dictionary that is an unordered set of the value pairs and the value that can be contained different type of objects means we can store different type of uh, data as a value of a particular dictionary. Next one that is a not a sequence number two unlike a string list and tuple a dictionary is not a sequence because it's an unordered set of elements the sequence are indexed by a range of ordinal numbers hence they are ordered but a character but a dictionary is an unordered collection here it's saying that is a dictionary as we know the description is an unordered set of values pairs key value pairs so that's why it's a, a not a sequence See, when we are creating a dictionary definitely we define uh, we define the value and keys in a sequence but when you are going to print that particular dictionary different type it show the uh, values in different sequence that's why they say it's not a sequence but the string list and tuples all of these are the sequence it show the value as we in give uh, give it as an input but dictionary show the value is not a proper sequence means not a proper sequence means not a same sequence okay next one that is a point number three that is indexed by keys not number dictionary are indexed by keys according to python a key can be a non-mutable type key should be a non-mutable type means you cannot change the value of the key since string and numbers are not mutable you can use them as a key in a dictionary so here in a dictionary we can use the number and string as a uh, key value and if a tuple contain immutable objects such as integer or string etc then only it can also be used as a key so if a tuple contain only the immutable value then we can also use as a key but the value in a dictionary can be of any type the types can be mixed within one dictionary so but the value it can be any type it can be integer type it can be float type it can be string type even it can be also tuple type so that's why we can mix different type of value in a dictionary now look at the example here we define one dictionary as dict1 next we define the value of and the key of the dictionary so first one that is the key and second one is the value key first key is that is 0 and the value we written at here that is value for key 0 next key is 1 and we did we corresponding value of 1 is here that is value for key 1 same way we define 3 at here you see look at here 3 we define within the quotient that means we became a string value and the value of this particular key is that is value for a string as a key next we define a tuple at here that uh, as a key and the value of that particular tuple is that is value for a tuple as a key okay and here we use one string value at here that is and for uh, fun that is the key value, key string at here and the corresponding value is 7 now when you are writing dict 0 that means the 0 is the key value key at here so what is the value of that particular key it's a value uh, of our key 0 so that's value print at here next for dict 4 comma 5 means this tuple this value this line it will be print as a value of this particular tuple set here so difference one we can see at here so that's mean we define one dictionary with a mixed type of keys we can define integer key at here string key at here tuples key at here say again we define string key at here 
next point that is key must be unique here it say that all the key should be unique we can, there, that's thing we can see also the, in this example here we define different kinds of uh, data as a key but all the keys are the difference that's when all the keys are the unique so each of the key within a dictionary must be unique since uh, key are used to identify the value in a dictionary they cannot be duplicate key in a dictionary however two unique uh, key can be the same value that is considered the bart count dictionary declared at head sing the value can be same but the key cannot be same here uh, we can see that horn uh, bill and peacock both key is used at here and the both of their value is 15 and 15 so that's when value can be same value can be we can repeat but key we cannot repeat next point that is a mutable since list uh, dictionary are also mutable we can change the value of it of a certain key in the place using the assignment statement as per the syntax so see look at here here it say that uh, its dictionary is immutable that's when we can change the value of the dictionary for this one we just need only the key that's been in which key the value will be changed because in the dictionary key is used as a index positions so you have to the syntax is dictionary within uh, this <coughs> square bracket you have to define the key value and next you have to use, use the assignment operator right here to store that particular value in that key <coughs> so there is an example look at this example here we define dict 3 dict 3 means that's value for a string it was there in that program previous one this one it is defined okay so next we write that is a dict 3 equals to that is changing to new string that's been that value the previous value was this one now the value is changed and it's become the change to new string and after that when we print this dict 3 then we get the new value at here okay so in this way we can change the value of the dictionary but one thing you have to keep it in mind that the key that particular key should be uh, should be exist in your dictionary here it says but you can add a new uh, key value pair to a dictionary using a simple assignment statement that we did at here but the key being added should be unique that's the most important thing that key should be unique if a key already exists the value is simply changed in the assignment statement above so here we can see uh, we already define it here it is new equals to a uh, new pair is added this is a line or that's mean this is a new key value pair we are going to insert in that particular uh, dict1 dictionary so here we can see when we print this one we can see this new dictionary key value pair is added in our dictionary okay but here say that the key should be unique next one that is a internally stored as mapping so it's show you look at the structure here it's say it say that how our key and values are the uh, link to each other internally the key value pair of dictionary are associated with one another with some internal function called hash function so this is basically the hash function in, and using this hash function or through this hex function this key and values are uh, linked to each other the way of linking is called the mapping so that's uh, basically called the mapping so in the memory position different key is there we stored uh, different key and different value is there and all the value and keys are not in a proper sequence it can be in a stored in haphazard way but there should be some link so that we can easily access any value of a dictionary through their key okay so this all are the characteristics of the dictionary so i hope uh, all of you understand it properly om namah shivaya students